kellyrussellformining.com.au and joining me today is the Managing Director of Aruma Resources, Glenn Grayson. Glenn, how are you today? I'm very good. Thank you, Shay. Now, it's great to have you back and I'm really hoping that this chat disintegrates into a super nerdy rock chat in the second part of today's interview. But first and foremost, let's talk about some of this positive information that's just reached the ASX. The Bartola Copper Project has put out some historical announcement to the market today. Uh, I believe this is the first time the market's actually got to look at the historical results here, isn't it? It is, that's correct. So these results were done by Ashton Mining back in 1988. So it's been 30 years uh, since this work was done on the ground. Um, Ashton, of course, were diamond miners and diamond explorers. They come across a, a prospect that they thought was prospective for gold. Um, two grams a tonne gold in, in some rock chips off, off some outcropping quartz veins. Um, and then did a, a four hole percussion drilling program. Of that, um, they didn't hit a lot of gold. Uh, but they did hit a what I think is a significant amount of copper and base metal mineralisation. So uh, 14 metres at a bit over 0.2% copper um, above the quartz vein. Um, but this this prospects in the, the basalts, these to creep basalts are the Mount Isa um, succession. So that's not normally where you go looking for a Mount Isa style ore body. Uh, but what we're seeing is um, along with some radiometrics, we think we've got a IOCG sort of signature. So uh, that's where it's exciting. Oh, that's right, Glenn, because the Queensland rule of law is that you don't see this IOCG mineralisation away from Concurry, and yet that's exactly what you're talking about might potentially be at your deposit somewhere near Mount Isa. That's right. And there's, there is um, North Mount Isa, another project we've got at Fiery Creek, some diamond core there that's got some some of the hematite alterations. So again, the, the red rock alteration that's more um, familiar with ICG deposits. So it's just taking your blinkers off and, and looking for um, what else could be there. Essentially asking the questions of how the rocks got there. Yeah, that's right. And why are they looking like they're looking? So why is it that these historic results were never released to the market? Because they seem quite promising. How did they end up on a dusty shelf somewhere? Uh, the, it was a, you know annual technical report uh, back in, in those days in the 80s in Queensland. They were biannual, so every, every second year. And they just, um, Ashton Mining was a, a global size company at the time, so it just never got released. Uh, now, Glenn, I know you've got some fresh eyes, obviously, across this data, but you're going to get some boots on the ground at this project shortly. Tell me, what is this exploration program going to look like? So I've, I've got to get my shareholders to approve the transaction. Uh, that's going to happen in the next few weeks. But after that, it'll be uh, certainly some field work. And with the more advanced projects or prospects, um, a bit of ground geophysics is what I've got planning. If there's something uh, detected in that uh some drilling in the near future. It's great to see some old projects are uh, having new life breathed into them and the data looks quite promising. Thank you so much for being here today. No worries. Thank you very much for having me, Shane.